Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C and we're looking at the AGM 84E SLAM Standoff Land Attack Missile. This missile is a land attack version based upon the subsonic anti ship Harpoon. The guidance consists of an INS GPS guidance unit, a Wooli data link unit, plus the IR seeker from a Maverick missile. In terms of performance, we've managed so far to get 50 nautical miles range out of it, but we haven't done thorough testing. Let's look at today's controls that we're going to use. TDC up, down, left and right to slew the missile's direction manually, including TDC depress, it's a very important one. If you have the realistic TDC option set in the special options from main menu. Also, as usual, SCS sensor control switch left and right to allow us to work on either of the left and right screens. And of course, weapons release button to actually fire the weapon. Master arm on, air to ground mode on. Select our slam here and our data link pod here. Note the loadout of our aircraft here. We have two slams, we have the data link pod in the middle and offset on the left cheek, we have a lightning pod. Once we've selected the slam missiles, we'll do the warm up. It counts down from 10 minutes to seven minutes and 30. So two and a half minutes to warm up. We cannot fire the missile until then, but we can set the missile up. Next of the current missile selected, and it is this station here, station seven, we can step between stations, choose whether we're gonna use PP or TOO pre-planned or target of opportunity. The methods we can use for each are thus. Pre-planned, we can use UFC scratch pad coordinate input only to choose the targets. TOO, we can use the air to ground radar well, that's just coming in now, a T-pod or a waypoint designation. And for the fun of it, we'll use the T-pod today. Next, of the current missile selected, the cruise fly altitude, we can press here and it selects here, high, low or medium. We're gonna go for medium. Next, electronic fuse. It can either be off or instant, and the fuse is now armed. Next, we need to tell the data link which weapon that we want to link it to. We're going to link it to the SLAM in this case, so we're going to click WEP there, and this could cause some confusion, but we could have SLAM here, 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 here. This is left outer wing, left inner wing, right inner wing, right outer wing. We've got right inner wing selected, station seven, so it's that one there. Select, that has now linked the data link pod to station seven, SLAM. Next, we need to change distance here. That is the distance from the target at which point our missile will switch over to its IR seeker head for manual control if necessary. The whole idea is that if the missile's targeting is not accurate on its own, to destroy the target you can take full control manual control with its IR sensor for the last few miles to get it perfectly on target and it is an excellent system slam display now UFC how many miles from the target do we want to activate click distance I'm gonna go five miles enter we're now chosen five miles next our release type and if you're used to JDAMs and JSALs this should all be standard the release type is going to be manual Next, we're going to push through to the mission. This is the mission for that particular TOO, TOO1. Currently, we do not have any mission data populated. That's the next thing we're going to do. So let's get our T-Pod selected. That's going to be FLIR, as you all know by now. We're going to get the T-Pod in the rough area with a waypoint designate. So let's just go waypoint one on waypoint designate. That has now designated the T-Pod and it's actually created a target point on that waypoint. But that is not usually accurate enough to fire the weapon so we're going to go in and adjust field of view narrow we're going to zoom in see what ah, there's our tank we want to blow up in this case so to be able to slew this screen as you all know scs right to assign the tdc to this screen at which point you will see that diamond there now we can use the tdc slew keys left right up and down to slew to the target and we're going to zoom in a little closer okay so that is the target there that we're going to designate while looking at this screen here i'm now going to press tdc depress to transfer that new target location to the weapon so press tdc depress you can see that the coordinates shown in eight digit format have now updated to the new position that the teapot is pointing to so we now have a correct target and we're ready to fire in the time that we've taken to do this the weapon has fully aligned which is great so in the hut here we've got slam selected it's in target of opportunity mode we are in range and the range to the target is 42.6 
miles down to our HSI HSD for a bit more confirmation what we can see here is that we are that cross there the target is that there the maximum firing range is going to be shown by this ring here the minimum firing range is this ring here and we're obviously between the firing rings so we are in range to fire double check we've got station seven selected and we have fire so weapon release button off she goes okay we're now going to switch over we're going to return here to our slam screen we're now going to deselect slam here and transfer over to the data link pod so we're on the data link pod now however it's not ready for use at the moment per se the missile is not transmitting back to the pod because it's not reached five miles from the target this screen now i would prefer to go over to our stores page because we've got a very useful fact here and that is that the tts time to seeker the time from now to which the missile reaches five miles from the target and turns on its seeker transmission at which point we'll be able to see its seeker in here and take manual control for the last few miles as you can see it looks pretty much identical to the uh, agm 84d there's the target we're now going terminal our tts has reached zero and disappeared at this point it's now transmitting to our data link pod here We'll keep it paused for the moment so we've got time to speak. First of all, it's uncaged, which means that we have manual control to be able to move the seeker head around. Next, aft antenna. If we wanted to fire and forget, we could turn the ship around and click that and use our aft antenna to continue communication with the missile. Next, weapon. Next, UFC. If we clicked USC here, channel would come up here and we can actually change the channel of the slam that we were looking at. So currently we are looking at channel 7. So it's the slam that came out of station 7. If we had, for instance, a slam from station 3 in the air that was transmitting, we could go in and change that to station three next field of view a bit like a standard seeker you can have that field of view there zoomed in if you like or the normal field of view let's unpause for a little bit you see that it's diving down on the target now looking for the target And I'm not happy. It just isn't accurate enough with the data that we've given it, even from the teapot, which is pretty accurate. You can see it's clearly going to miss the target. This is why we have the manual reversion at the end. So with it uncaged there, first, we need to assign our TDC to this screen. That means pressing SCF left to get the TDC diamond here. So I'm going to unpause and press it there. We now have full control to control the missiles crosshairs. We press and hold TDC depress very important if you've got the realistic TDC option set and at the same time use the TDC slew left right up and down to move this crosshair onto the target there and then release all of the buttons it will then adjust and attack there unpause TDC depress move the cursor that I think is going to be good enough and you can see we've adjusted to hit the target there so that's how the slam is supposed to be used and we can watch for fun Out of interest, if we have another slam in the air at the moment, then we could UFC and we can change and look at that one. That's all I've got to show on the slam at the moment. I hope that was useful and see you later.